Hi right, guys, welcome back to MJ Performance. Uh, look at this great example. So we will take Fords of all shapes and sizes here. And uh, we've got a fantastic Ford Transit Custom Sport in chrome blue. It's brand new. Uh, it's customer cu customer van that's come in for some upgrades to the performance. Um, so what we're actually doing here now is fitting a Steinbauer upgrade. So with these, car with these vans you'll see standards around 168 brake horsepower. Uh, with the Steinbauer upgrades, you can expect to see around 201 brake horsepower. So, yeah, great, some, uh, great gains there. Figures here as well, Tim. Yeah, which yeah. Is, so, uh, which is always the most important bit. Most know. important thing. So, obviously, as we know, torque can be more important than power because that's the power that you're getting down there and how quickly you can put the power down. So, yeah, standard, you're looking at 295 pound foot of torque. With the Steinbauer, huge jump. You get 354 pound. Of talk. So there's your difference. That's the difference, yeah. yeah. But um, I'm going to leave the explanations to the professionals. So I'm going to bring Martin in just to explain about the upgrades and what's been going on here. So uh, I don't know about the professional. Yeah. Thing. Well, we'll, that's Ricky we'll Sanders. try. He's not here. Yeah. Well, it's well, so, um, Tricky Dicky isn't here, yeah. but we'll have to make up with right, you yeah. today. So uh, yeah, right. yeah, that's fine. So yeah. Right. So the Steinbauer. As, as, Tim, as Tim said, guys, this is a you know brand new vehicle. It's um, the under and well, it's under and. 70 PS, 168 horsepower. You know that's that's obviously brake horsepower, not the wheels. So, um, as Tim said, so this is in for this is all stemmed from our WRC van. So on our WRC van, that was the prototype van to run the Steinbauer to run the um, uh, RTG full intake, which is you know which is what we can offer and supply to you through us. Um, and I've ran that, done nearly 6,000 miles in that van now, and it's fantastic. It's never missed a beat and it's been absolutely fine so that trans you know trans uh, transpires and then on it goes to on to uh, customers car so um the Steinbauer power module is here we we um i talked about this on the previous video on the bench you know with the rs1 and it's a complete standalone separate unit okay so it's the most safest reliable um enhancement performance wise you can put on one of these because um, you're not interfering with the ECU you're not flashing the ECU and, and you know winding things up that module there controls it and again same principle like I keep saying with Revo why Revo well because of the global testing um, same sort of thing not on a they haven't got the Steinbauer not on the same scale as Revo with the global testing mm, to a certain extent, because Steinbauer, a huge Austrian company, they do a lot of research and development. Their facility over there is fantastic, and they're in quite a few places in the world. Okay, so they do get some sort of, obviously, of course, global testing, but not on the same sort of scale as Revo, obviously, but and not that I'm aware of. But um, so what this box does is, okay, it's changing the duration of the injector sequence. All right, so basically, what that means is you're lengthening. The duration so you're lengthening the time and that's injecting and that hence why you get your uh, uh that's a um you know part of why you get the more power and torque there's other enhancements that have taken place safely you know um with regards to the boost but that's on the on the fueling side of it okay very clever way of doing it and it's a know, clever application because it, it can all be turned on and off can't it as yeah as the mean, user wants yeah i mean there's that's got a potentiometer inside it so you can play around with that and make it as aggressive as you want and it's got a complete fail safe shutdown on it so uh, as we we played around with all of this so when we were on track at uh, donington the rs Hunters club national day in 2018 just gone we were out in our wrc transit van and we were playing around with the potentiometer to see how aggressive we can get it now bearing in mind I can go into these boxes and reconfigure them, okay? So, but you don't want to be going too mad with them because it's a diesel at the end of the day and it, it'll just be too aggressive and it'll try and shut it down. So we always, there's a there's a limit. Um, it's all safely set up. Uh, but on our transit van, we were just testing out see how far you could go with it. And it was good because it shut the, it shut, it shut the power down to safe mode, which is good because it was didn't, we went a bit too far with it so we know exactly um where you can what you can and can't do with these so um but yeah six thousand reliable miles from new mine was all fitted from factory from uh, srt but we're now authorized installers so yeah. we can do it ourselves and what i've learned from our own 
experiences with the man, we can then relay that back to potential customers. So, exactly, and that's yeah. why it's about, I mean, MJ Performance, it's not just about selling yeah. parts and no. on your way you go. We, we develop everything, yeah. we test everything. We do, yeah. So we can tell people that when this fits your van or your car, we've tried it, we know it works, and uh, you can have confidence in it. It's very, very neat. You get the full, don't forget it, guys, this is a hardware, hardware and software. So that, that's your standalone box. And all the, it's, it's a brilliant bit of kit because you know, you're paying for quality. So it's got all the proper harnesses, all the connectors that go onto the injectors and every other uh, connector is proper OE. It's not a splicing, um, you know, um, Scotch lock it in and all this sort of stuff. There's none of that. It is direct fit. That's why it's fantastic. And again, it's plug and play. As Tim said, you can remove this at any time and you're back to stock power mm. and there's no the other thing which you can have with this which we've got is you can have a key fob remote we use that to switch the power on and off so you can demo it to people on standard stock power and then you can push the button and enhance the stein bar and then you'll feel the difference so that's a good thing we have that to you know to it's a selling point you know that's what people customers potential customers want to know what it's uh, what the difference is and we can prove that to them so the intake's great, it sounds fantastic. We've done a short video previously with Timmy Tastic 2 doing it. So what I'll do now is we'll quickly fire him up there, Tim. Yep. And then um, you can have a little, uh, you can get the old Darth Vader on the go, mate. Well guys, I think you'll agree that sounds absolutely fantastic. The the intake, whoa, sounds great. I'm really impressed with that. Um, sounds good on the road as well, mate. So that's just static. When it's on the road, you get that nice little um, flutter. It's yeah. quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it sounds like yeah. what we have it, like, on the little beast. It's functional as well, that, though. It's not just for show. It looks good. It sounds good. But it's actually functional. So, um, you know, you'll get a better... Um, you know, intake, uh, a cooler intake uh, temperature, you will get um, obviously the enhancement and it's going to give you a better throttle response. It's, you know, not massively, but um, of course it's going to make a difference. The standard airbox is going to be on these, is going to be quite restrictive. So, yeah, so good all round, really. Um, but, well, yeah, I mean, that's really impressive. And obviously, guys, remember we are authorised installers and dealers of Steinbauer. So if you want something like this fitted to your own yeah. van, Give the garage a call. Um, That's right. And also, Tim, before we finish up there, so it doesn't end there when we do the installation. We then do, you know, we do some uh, checking, data logging, you know, out on the road. Of course we do. And we see what's going on there. Statically, we check, check and test everything, make sure that the, the injectors do what they, what, every, all the parameters of this particular engine, we will check and just make sure that it's doing what it should do. And then we go out on the road um, and check it on the road to make sure that it's doing what it should be doing before we hand it back to the customer. So we're happy, they're gonna be happy, and we have it But we have it back in for post checks when they've done a few thousand moles in it, just to check and make sure everything's yeah. all good. We, we'll data log it again just to make sure that we're happy with it. So that's all part of the service that we give. And, you know. Um, it's the attention and the detail that you'd expect from yeah, MJ Performance yeah. really, isn't and it? And as I keep saying before, Tim, you've experienced that because you're a customer of mine. So, yeah. you know, um, I'm not still here talking nonsense. Am I, Tim? Well, uh, you do Hang some. On, you, you do sometimes you talk a bit of nonsense. You did hesitate there. <laughs> so, um, right, Rich is back tomorrow, and that's it. You know, you're gonna get. Um, um, I might have to, to be honest. I might have to hand the lead camera, uh, cameraman. Uh, what's the word I look for? Camera. Camera person. We got to be person. careful these days. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Let's retract that. Rewind that. Yeah. Camera person. Um, yeah, Timmy Tastic too. And it, uh, he'll, he'll then become Timmy Tastic One. You might have to be, be then become his understudy. Guys, case... I, guys, I'm not happy with that. I mean, no. let us know in the comment section. Do you want Timmy Tastic One or Timmy Tastic Two? Because if if my uh, if my camera skills and my blabbering on isn't appreciated, you can have um, uh, well, well, we can have um, Timmy's Tuck Shop on, can't we? 
that's to be talked about yeah. in another issue. Another, another, um, another, another episode another, to another come, another Timmy's Tuck Shop. We have, we have teased it in uh, previous videos, but at some point we will get Timmy on mm. camera and he will be talking about Timmy's yeah. Tuck Shop because I yeah. know that people have been asking us about it. I mean, somebody else is going to do some of these videos, to be honest as well, because, you know, let's be honest, I'll be, it's just me in front of the camera. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'll be, I'm like a, a full-time... Um, Starry, aren't I? I need to, you know. Well, be be careful. I mean, I need, you know, I need to. I need he's to, getting a bit big for his boots here, viewers. I need to get old uh, Psycho Sanders to do a few more. We will have uh, old Tricky Dicky in a yeah. video coming very soon on. Um, well, li linking on really onto this, so yeah, is, linking yeah. onto our own MSRT van. So we're yeah, looking we're forward to full, that. We're gonna do, yeah, that's it. We're going to do a full feature on the WRC van in it. So um, that'd be good. We keep it all like flowing, so we're talking about the same stuff in it. Yeah. That's yeah. great. You want well, to do the outro, mate, not me. Are you sure? I told you I've been on the camera enough. Okay. Well, uh, guys, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button so you're notified on all our new videos. And, uh, of course, if you're interested in having this fitted to your own van, give us a call. We do now offer finance on performance parts and uh, anything that you might be interested in on your car or van. So, uh, yeah, if you like what you see... Uh, Keep watching and we'll see you on the next video. <laughs> and that's the thumbnail there. <laughs> Cut.